Let me just introduce you, Mr. Manuribe. Is it Manuribe? Manu What's your first name? It's Manuribe. Manuribe. Manu yes. The first name is what? Richard Manuribe. Richard. Richard, yeah. welcome. Thank you. Um, gleaning from what Mr. Money is saying here, um, we seem to have a, a forex differential. It also means that how well we're able to stabilize the city has a direct impact on the money that we generate and onwardly be able to pay the IPPs, irrespective of whether we have a cash waterfall system, right? So there's a, there's a monetary policy issue and the fiscal policy issue as well. Certainly. Um, Roland, uh, let me say good morning to you and good morning to my church. And my friends, good friends all around, yeah. they've been very good friends of mine. But it's just John Dramani Mahama, the incoming president of the Republic of Ghana, say I say good morning to you and the good job you've been doing. Roland, the good people in Quantash South is also watching you today and say good morning. Your constituency is in, Qu in Quantash South, South, yes, and right. OT region as well. Mm -hmm. Roland, you ask whether it's monetary and policy problems, that is what's causing the problem. Roland, if you really listen to the ranking member of energy, Mines and Energy, John Jinapo, mm -hmm. has clearly told Ghanaians that, that this looming situation was going to happen, and the major problem was about monetary issue. Mm -hmm. That's Sika Duete, was the major problem that this, the, the, the MPP government is talking about money. We also clearly talked about um, that there will be political aspect of it and there will be what technical aspect of it. But he refused. Economic, economic aspect. Mm -hmm. He refused. He says political and economic. economic. He refused. Because what he's trying to say is yes. that if you make a decision as an IPP to reduce or even shut down, it has, you should be cognizant of the political implications in these times. So well, we're just 15 when, days when, to the when cognitively means what? Well, we all know energy is power. And power is ability to do work. We all we agree with that. So when you talk about being cognizant and the timing, if you listen to um, is it the, the chamber, the chairman of the chamber, told us categorically, people shouldn't think that the situation is about being sabotaging the government. It's about being operational and getting financial support to be able to power the termite. And that's the reality on the ground. Well, now we all know that even if you recall, in 13th September 2024, mm. President John Dram Dramani Mahama have to intercede on the behalf of the, 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 the country. And that the uh, IPPs were going to close down their time out. President John Dramani Mahama made a clear indication of telling Ghanaian, uh, the MPP government that we have been able to secure 14 billion from ESLA. You recall, 40 billion for ESLA. And IPPs, how much are we owing them? I think as it stands now, government of Ghana owes them close to uh, 1.4 billion for the IPPs. 1.6. 1.6 billion for IPPs. And if you look, if you look at Asogli, Asogli alone uh, uh, provide, uh, across the South, South Down with about 560 megawatt that's supply in this country. And other three, three term, term, uh, independent power producers are also going. Well, the, the reality of the matter is that if government is most insensitive to ordinary Ghanaian and doesn't consume much and think about the basic needs of electricity, we we'll have not gotten to where we are. The major problem is that government has not even taken a critical look at it. 1.6 billion that you owe uh, 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 IPPs. How do you think they can be operational? And do you know they have to pay their workers? Do you know they have to make sure they, they, they power the thermal with gas? I don't think, um, Mr. Jantua, you are best. Uh, they use gas to, term, to, uh, to power their plants. And so uh, they don't generate uh, this. They have to go to Ghana Gas Company Limited and other uh, uh, producer of gas to be able to power the plant. So if, as a government, you don't invest more, you don't even look at how you'll be able to power or pay off the IPPs, we'll get to Grand Zero as where we are. Mm. Mona, Mona is talking about that. Where are we? That we don't really see what is happening. I can tell you that we have gotten to a situation where that government is trying to manage and massage the situation of the... Uh, oh, how of can the, you say that? No, no, but, but, you think because the election is looming, no, that's why? Absolutely. You can you recall... The, the minister of uh, the finance minister in the Washington, he was even telling Ghanaian, warning as ugly, that they can't decide from there and nobody can sabotage them. But Roland, the reality is that if you don't pay me to be able to op do operational operationalization of my sector, how do I operate? Now, we have nine in uh, independent power producers in this country. We are told that by the end of this week, today is Friday, four is also going to shut down. So it's going to be, three is going to shut down. So that will be four independent power producers. And the independent power producers produce about 400 megawatts of electricity in this country. So just imagine if three is being able to shut down, where are we as a nation? So it will be more dangerous in the doom so that we, we are even anticipating. So I will urge government and urge the, 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 the president of the Republic of Ghana 
and the Minister of Energy, including the uh, Minister of uh, Finance, to, be, to quickly release money for them. You recall the, 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 the arrangement they had with the Asagli. They even defaulted it. And Asagli have to come out crying foul up to now. Asagli is not operational. So I think that it, the, the, the monetary aspect is not political. It is just a, the responsibility of government to do what they are due to do. And if they do that, I don't think we'll be sitting here today and be discussing over the energy sector. The Dumso is there today. The Dumso has come just because government has consumed more and has, not, has refused to pay the IPPs. IPPs. And that's where we are going to where we are. So Mona, I, it's not political. I think it's, a, it's quite an economical issue, and they need to be operational. They need to get some finances to be able to support their power plants and then they, they move. And that's where we are, I think so. It's You're very so, popular. You're <laughs> getting calls all over. Absolutely. It's all right. it's Please try to mute the phone for us. You, you've ended. Right. So, there. So, so, I have to, so, I have to suck are, workers because of that. We so. the system condition. No, we need to be factual. Sheet. Okay. We need to the be very factual. The latest is showing that. I mean, we're, we have 500 deficits, even if we want to do the stability. And there's a critical... We are not have... oh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a critical issue about how do we need to make sure we show up. Because to show up also means that you need to advance or make those promissory notes to the IPPs. What would be your best advisory? Roland, it's, it's just simple. We all know that the nine in the IPPs pro produce 400 megawatts of energy to the country. Roland, Asogli is zero, as it stands, it stands now. Siemens is zero. T3 is zero. Amandi is zero. Even Pong, Pong is one. And even we that we rely on as buffer is five. So why do you sit here and tell us that? No, the solar. The solar, that, yeah, that's the what I'm saying. We rely, we, we, yes, we, need we rely, we, yes. yes, we rely on. There's only 5% that you produce out of 100. As we, talk, as we speak now, five out of 100. So if you sit here and tell me there's no doom so, how do you say that nine independent power producers, you, you've clearly said that, that they couldn't even meet uh, 250 out of 300 megawatts that they produce? Yeah, the, the, the need, we need to... Three, we need at least yes. 330. <laughs> we have 2,800, that's at this morning. And that's yes. just about that an is. hour and 30 minutes Roland, update. This is quite doom so. Look, as we are speaking now, go and see the Northern, Northern Power Authority. For some time now, it is totally dark out. You can't even power your fridge, your, your AC. Where are the people in the, 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 the five northern region? They will tell you. We are in the total darkness as we speak now. Let nobody deceive you. Do so is back and they are trying to massage it. I heard now, now put the other time, they said they were doing uh, some maintenance and it was not doing so. It's rather dark and lovely. And that's where we are. It is clearly, but when we want to speak, they will tell us that we shouldn't, we, we demanded for what? We demanded for timetable. They said we are evil. You remember, you call the running mate of the MPP, Napo? Told us we are evil to demand uh, this. People, I operate the coastal. People, fish and meat are spoiling. People, business are running down as we speak now. Look, what, we are talking about the whole thing that we are, the, the whole agreement is about paying the IPPs. And they are crying that the dollar to CD is carotting. And as we speak, I am told that even the, 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 the he's talking about the prepaid and postpaid system. I'm told that a company called Hoptel. And hope that that is even taking the little money we have in as much as we don't, we don't have energy. And we know who owes Hoptel. I am even terribly informed. Well, Hoptel has it's come a, out to... No, I was told that it's Dr. Baumia that owes it. That no, no, I mean, it's obvious. So no, that's, no, that's the reality. No, so if Hoptel, if Hoptel comes Clearly, out... I want to disassociate no, uh, so if, three the media general from no, this. Um, let's move on. That, that, that Roland, point has been made. Roland, if Hoptel has come out to say it, I'm not aware. They said that, they just, okay, that's, I've just said it the first time, or, 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 honestly. So we are saying, uh, look, why are we in this, this? The government is not ready to take care of the private sector. Any private sector that wants to grow, that's the a, that's a reality. Look, as we speak now, in 2023, uh, our oil revenue, we just, we've got 540 million U, uh, US dollars. And as we speak, you can't even pay IPPs to power our, term, uh, our, 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 our energy sector. So we are saying that. You, you clearly said that Dr. Baumia is not the president. Are we not in this country? Who can pay on Dumsa economy? It's not Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. We live in this country when Dr. Bamiya was the crusader of, of, uh, of, of Dumso, when President Mahama had to solve Dumso, and he went to one of the stations in this country and said President John Dermot Mahama has solved Dumso, but we shouldn't give him credit. 
So the government is not uh, functional, it doesn't care about energy sector and in any economy that you don't even have, you don't, you don't have enough energy. How do you operate? So that's why industries are, are falling up. As I'm talking to you now, most of the companies are falling up in this country because they can't even pay workers. Because when you when your, your company is operating and you can't even have energy uh, power to, to, to power your, your, your businesses, how do you pay your workers? So that's where we are. That is why even in, in creating the unemployment rate and other sector of economy is collapsing now. So if government, you ask for my advice, if government want to really care about this country, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, who had economic management team, and, and his running mate, who has been Minister of Energy, and he just left the ministry, should quickly come together and pay the, IP, uh, the independent power producers, and we can have energy in this country. But I can assure you, President John Dramani Mama has been very worried, had not because of his intervention. This will have happened in even 2023. You recall, in 13 September 2024, President John Dramani Mahama, no, I think he's, I'm assigned to be corrected, I, I have that date here, in 2024, uh, 2023, President Mahama have to intervene and speak to IPPs in this country. Europe, and came out to speak that they should take time and then take care of this country. That's where we are now. The people are tired. The IPPs are tired. And if we care about this country, I beg the Vice President of the Republic of Ghana and his running mate, who are critically in charge of this energy sector, should quickly rescue this country. According because to Mr. Money, hospitals are running down, the interest are running down, factories are running down. But I'm telling you, it's not Roland, the same like it is, he, has, he, he will say that because he has issues with the data that came out from a, a PURC and other credible source. That is, we clearly told it. I have, he, he, have, he, 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 he didn't believe in the data. You can say that you didn't believe the data that okay, came what, the, system yes, the system conditions. conditions. Okay.